Hi guys, um, my name is Christina Driscoll and I am the founder, creator behind Driscoll Farm. So what we do here is we try to practice all natural living as best as we possibly can. Um, I know that there are certain things that are completely unavoidable, but we do our best. Um, we make handmade goods here on the farm, so that includes like soaps and soap trays, and we're kind of starting to dabble into the furniture side. Um, but soaps, soap trays, lip balms, bath salts, scrubs, things like that, and more to come in the future. So that's what we do here on the farm, and we try to implement the all-natural living in every facet of our life. So um, I am super, super passionate about what goes on and in our bodies, whether that be pharmaceuticals, whether that be food, whether that be um, health and wellness, products, supplements, things of that nature. So let's dive into this talk on immunity um people knowing kind of my background and my passion for all natural living i often get messages for pe from people um asking me what we do during cold and flu season or what we do if we get the flu that sort of thing and i'm going to preface this with the fact that i am just a mom i am not a doctor i am not a nurse i have no like classical training in this area. Um, I have no degree in this, but I am a super nerd who gets lost in medical journals and studies and articles and podcasts, and this is just what I love. So I love sharing any nuggets that I have that might be able to help others. Um, so don't take what I say as like, you know, the be all end all. Um, by all means, go talk to your doctor. But this is what works for us, and I would love to share this information with y'all. So let's get into it. We start with the basic basics, so diet and water. Um, I try really hard to control our diet. Right now we're living with my in-laws, so we're kind of in this weird transition phase, and there are certainly snacks and drinks and things here that I typically would not have in my home um, that my kids are inevitably inevitably exposed to. So um, I am doing a little bit extra trying to boost everything, but um, for the most part, I'm the main cook and um, they still eat my food and, um, and I purchase the snacks for our family. So something that um, we try to keep in mind is to purchase organic meats and produce. That's really, really important to me. All of our snacks come from Thrive Market because they have a very strict standard to go by. There are certain things on there that I still would kind of stray away from, but most of the stuff on there is really, really wonderful. Um, you know, it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it, and it's typically organic and ethically sourced. And so if you're looking for a place to get your snacks at a discount, Thrive Market is the place to go. If you want more information on that, um, certainly let me know. I would love to help you with that. But... Um, so diet, we t try to get in as many fruits and vegetables as possible. Um, my kids love broccoli. They love green beans. Um, there are certain things that they don't love. Sometimes they'll eat Brussels sprouts. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll, you know, one day they love sweet potatoes. The next day they hate them. So, um, we have the same issues that any parent does as far as feeding toddlers. So, um, I always put food on their plate. If they eat it, great. If they don't, that's okay. But everybody has to try a bite of everything before they can leave the table. So that's kind of our rule. Um, but something that you're going to get from food is going to be vitamin C. So vitamin C, a lot of people take in supplement form. I do as well. Um, but you can get vitamin C from good organic produce. And when you think vitamin C, most people go straight to oranges and orange juice and citrus and grapefruits. Um, but the actual fruit is does have a lot of vitamin C in it, but the juices do not. So if you are buying your orange juice, whether it be simply orange to, what's the other one, Tropicana or whatever, um, they are pasteurized orange juice and 80% of the vitamins are killed. So you're really not getting anything from orange juice at the grocery store unless it's like a fresh squeezed orange juice, um, which thankfully our um, local 45 minutes away grocery store does have some fresh squeezed goodness. So um, citrus, if you eat the actual fruit, will have the benefits of the vitamin, um, not so much the juices. So keep that in mind. Um, another thing is, but what has more uh, vitamin C than even citrus is broccoli. So 
broccoli is wonderful. You can eat broccoli raw, which is the best form of it. Um, you can have broccoli with a little bit of Tessame's ranch, and that is delicious. Um, you can roast it, you can steam it, you can do whatever you want, um, but I recommend not microwaving it because when you microwave food, a lot of the vitamins are killed in that cooking process as well. The vitamins just cannot stand up to um, the radioactive waves that microwaves use. So we are not even putting a microwave in our home. Um, I have stopped using a microwave for that reason. Um, I feel like our food is depleted enough sticking it in the microwave to make it dead is not okay with me. So um, that's just another thing that we do to try to control our diet. Uh, so some things that we add in. Um, I love bone broth. I get ours from Thrive Market. You can certainly make it yourself. It's not a hard thing to make, but right now I just honestly don't have the time, energy, or space. We're living with my in-laws. It's just kind of hectic in the kitchen. So I get mine from Thrive Market. Um, it's really high in protein. It has a lot of good stuff in it. The good stuff goes straight into your system and attacks the bad stuff. It helps your cells. Um, it's really great for recovery as far as getting sick, but also like injuries. Um, so bone broth is wonderful. Another thing that I'm loving, and I also get this from Thrive Market. Y'all, they're not sponsoring me. They have no clue who I am. Um, I just love their stuff. Is golden milk. You can mix this with whatever milk you like. We prefer raw. Um, but you can certainly use almond milk or, um, coconut milk, whatever milk you'd like. And this is just chock full of really great stuff. It has turmeric and black pepper in it. It also has cardamom and ashwagandha root and vanilla bean. And it's, um, lightly sweetened with dates. It's delicious. It kind of tastes, I would say similar to a chai tea. It has that spicy kind of undertone. Um, but turmeric and black pepper are powerhouses when it comes to healing your body. So whether you're sick, whether you have cancer cells that are in your body that need killing, turmeric is going to be wonderful. Turmeric and black pepper is also really, really great and proven to help prevent and to reduce the symptoms of um, Alzheimer's. So this is wonderful. It's great for brain health, overall health. Um, turmeric and black pepper. You want to see those two together like they are a team and they will go into your body and help. So golden milk. You're going to put it on the stove. You're going to put a little bit in the milk of your choice, stir it up, and it's like a hot tea before bed. I love it. Um, another thing, um, so like I said, we get all of our snacks and stuff from Thrive Market and we want to limit sugar. So that is really what started me on um, looking for better places to get our snacks because so much sugar is in everything. It's in chips, like the salty stuff. It's in chips, it's in um, granola bars, it's in cereals, it's in pancake mixes, it, it's in um, everything. Your kids fruit snacks and so if you think about it, sugar um, stops your immune system from working like and you know if you have one coke that's like 14 teaspoons of sugar in one can or something astronomical like that. Um, Y'all, that is hard work on your liver. So if you have like a Coke and a, a Coke a day and then you have fruit snacks and then you have um, like a bag of Doritos which has sugar in it and you know, you just stack up all of these snacks, by the end of the day, you are having so much sugar and your system just can't take it. Your immune system is going to shut down and you will get sick and you'll probably get fat too. So, um, just limit your sugar. What I love about the snacks that we get at Thrive Market is they are uh, sweetened with either like coconut sugar, um, a couple of them are seasoned with dates, stevia, so just more natural uh, ways to sweeten things. And especially this time of year, you are intaking a lot more sugar, or at least in the months to come. You have Thanksgiving, you're going to have pumpkin pie, apple pie, all of the desserts, um, and then Christmas and all of the parties in between because you know it's not just the holiday that you celebrate it. You have a family party over here, a family party with the other side of the family. You have a church party. You have a friend's party, a friend's giving. You know, like you have all of these little celebrations that all have sugar in them. So just be mindful of how much sugar you're intaking. If you know you're going to have a dessert, like for dinner or whatever, 
then don't have any sugar the rest of the day. Um, that's a big one that I try to limit with my kids because my goodness, they would eat fruit snacks until the cows come home and it's just, they're chock full with sugar. So Thrive Market has really great options. Um, so diet, water is the second thing that we, um, are very mindful of in this home. We start our day with water. So the first thing my kids get when they get up is water. Um, the first thing Danny and I do when we get up is drink a big Yeti full of water. I don't know how much it is, but we try to have more than 20 ounces before we eat or drink anything. Um, as far as Danny and I, my kids just get a sippy cup. Um, and so this is important because it really cleanses out your system before you eat or drink anything. Uh, and you really need to be mindful as well as where your water is coming from. If you are drinking tap water, it has been filtered and cleaned in a sense of that it doesn't have as much stuff in it, but there are still trace amounts of pharmaceuticals and drugs and chemicals and tons of stuff in our water that is not filtered out. Chlorine, um, chlorine kills the bacteria in your gut. You really need to be careful about the water that you're drinking. So spring water, well water, um, rainwater harvesting systems, those are the best. But if you cannot get your hands on those, because we can't, um, a reverse osmosis water filtration system is the way to go. You can find them on Amazon. Some of them are super expensive, but you can also find some in there around the $70, $80 range. Um, I will say the reverse osmosis water filter systems are not your Brita filters. Um, they're not the filters that you put in your fridge. Um, those don't do anything. They take the flavor and the smell of chlorine and all of that, the, that stuff out, but they do not remove the product from your water. So, um, so make sure that you're drinking lots of water and that your water is great quality. Um, the next thing that is super important and very basic is sleep. So sleep is going to help control your stress. It's going to help your body recover. Sleep is when you do do all of your recovering. So it's just very important to um, make sure that you're getting enough of it, especially for your kids as well. Um, we try to put our kids down pretty early. Esther, I like her to be in bed around 7.30, 8 o'clock, um, sometimes even earlier, depending on how her day went. And Brooks, I like him to be in bed by 8 o'clock. Um, so... We try to put our kids down early so they have a good 11, 12 hours of sleep. They need more sleep than adults. So keep that in mind with your children. It's super important for those little bodies. Um, and then I try to get around 8 to 10 hours of sleep. So we wake up pretty early um, most days around 4 or 5 a.m. ish. So uh, we go to sleep pretty early as well. And... Um, also, just I know for myself, it's much easier for me to fall asleep if I read before bed versus being on my phone before bed, that sort of thing. Um, the blue light thing is real. So if you have the blue light glasses or whatever, it um, you might be able to fall asleep when you shut your phone off or whatever, but you do not actually enter REM sleep for a long time after you shut your phone off. So you want to get into that deep sleep for as long as possible for your body to recover. Um, and something that I do to help with that is magnesium and magnesium is the number one mineral that people in the United States are deficient in. Um, it has pretty much been depleted from all of our food and sources like that. So you really do need a supplement for your magnesium. <clears throat> it helps to regulate your sleep. It helps your mood. Um, it helps a lot of things. It helps your muscles recover. Uh, magnesium is wonderful. I use Ease Magnesium. Again, this is something that you were, um, this is something where quality is important. So you don't just want to go to the grocery store and find the cheapest form of magnesium you can get your hands on. It's probably not going to do you any good. It's probably been processed and infused with a whole bunch of other chemicals and stuff like that. And that's not what you want. Ease Magnesium is great because it's just magnesium and water. Um, and so this is the spray bottle ver version. I spray it on my neck, back, and shoulders before bed. Um, occasionally I have like knee pain and I'll spray it on my knees and I wake up and they're fine. So Ease Magnesium is a great one. They also have like a muscle rub. I get mine from Amazon, um, but they also have a website where you can buy directly from there. Amazon's just easy for us because everybody uses it. Um, so that's great for sleep. The next thing is to go outside, 
get your vitamin D and exercise. So um, whether you do your exercise outside, I completely believe that I um, can exercise. You, I might not be like lifting weights or going for an intentional run or anything like that, but chasing my kids around the yard is exercise. Chasing chickens is exercise. Um, walking back and forth from the house to the barn, getting food for the animals is exercise. So um, it all it all adds up. Uh, we I like to take walks around the pasture. Um, occasionally I'll do a run. I was really good about it a couple months ago, but then it got super hot in summer and I'm ready to pick that back up again. Um, but the most important part, especially for your kids, is getting outdoors, getting that vitamin D from the sun. It's the best source of vitamin D that you can get. Um, there are supplement versions that you can purchase. Vitamin D is essential to your immune system and healing and um, warding off disease and stuff like that. So if you know that you are not going to be outside, maybe you live in an area where it gets super cold and being outdoors is just not going to happen, you really need to look into a vitamin D3 supplement. I get ours from Thrive Market as well. Um, they have a lot of great supplements for a good price and the, uh, the quality is there. So that's important. Um, so yeah, get your vitamin D. If you can get outside, that's the best place to do it. And this time of year, especially in the South, it's finally starting to cool down a little bit. Now's the time to get outside. Um, you know, kids are kept cooped up in a classroom all day long, which is just a room full of germs and they're just floating around and um, they just don't get outside enough to get any vitamin D to help support their immune system. So that's, if you have school age children, be mindful of that as well. Um, the next thing is that I'm going to talk about is supplements. So you will see that supplements is kind of further down on the list. Um, it's certainly important and you need to do supplements, but I do believe that diet and exercise and being outdoors is important too. Um, but supplements, um, the ones that we take, so I get mine from various different places and you will, you will see that for my kids. Um, they, they just don't love they don't love like the chalky vitamins. Um, I do have great sources to get stuff like that. If your kids love them and they will take them, mine just won't do it. So we love this amazing grass kids superfood protein mix from um, Thrive Market. You can also get it from Amazon. I get the strawberry blast flavor, but listen to these ingredients. We have pea protein. It's sweetened with coconut sugar, a greens blend of barley grass, wheat grass, alfalfa, beet juice, um, a probiotic, banana, pineapple, carrot, sweet potato, raspberry, acai, blueberries, broccoli, and spinach. I just listed off all of the ingredients. Isn't that amazing? So my kids love this. I really didn't think that they would, so I'm so glad that they do. But I mix this in with their milk in the morning, and they love it. Um, it makes me feel a lot better. So another thing that we do for my kids is uh, we do elderberry syrup. I make our own elderberry syrup and I highly recommend that you either make your own or find someone who makes it and get your hands on theirs because the elderberry syrups that you can find in the grocery store are um, typically sweetened with sugar. Like we've already discussed, sugar hits pause on your immune system so if you're taking them you're really not doing any good for you at all. Um, completely defeats the purpose of all of the goodness that is found in elderberries. Um, so like I said, I make my own. If you're in my email group, I'm going to attach, um, my personal recipe for elderberry syrup to the email. So you will get that. Um, if you're local, hit me up. I can get you, get you some elderberry syrup. Uh, if you are local to the, uh, to the DFW area, you don't mind driving to Waxahachie. That's where my husband works. And so he can bring elderberry syrup to work. And if you want to drive to Waxahachie to get it, you can certainly do so. So message me if you want to get your hands on some of ours. Um, these are like legit family size bottles. I, it drove me crazy when I would purchase elderberry syrup from the health food store and it came in a bottle this big and we're all four trying to take it. Um, it just doesn't work for me. So I decided to fix that problem and get the big bottles. So that's another supplement that we take. My kids take a, a teaspoon every weekday. Um, my husband and I take a tablespoon every weekday and that just helps to boost the immune system. We take weekends off just to kind of let our bodies do its own thing and produce its own good stuff. So um, 
those are the supplements that my kids take. I personally take um, an omega-3. Um, I get this one from Thrive Market as well. This one also has COQ10 in it, which is really essential for brain health. Um, especially if you are somebody who is taking, um, oh my goodness, like blood pressure medicine, that sort of thing. Um, high cholesterol medicine. A lot of those, um, typical med um, typical prescriptions, they, uh, will deplete your body of COQ10 and your brain needs this to function. So I take an omega with COQ10. I take a probiotic. I get my probiotic from Young Living. Um, I highly encourage you to not get your probiotic from the grocery store. Just my two cents on that. Um, make sure that you're getting it from a quality source. Young Living's is great, but there's also a whole lot of other great probiotics out there. Um, I also take spirulina. Spirulina is like a greens pill. It is wonderful for your immune system, for total body health. Um, I get this from Thrive Market as well. And I take um, Sulfurzyme from Young Living. This bottle is like ginormous. Um, but I really like this. It's really great for uh, recovery. It has wolfberry powder in it, which is wonderful for you, your immune system. If you are a Young Living Goober, then you know about Ningxia, which is wolfberries, um, and that's great for your immune system as well. So I love sulfur, sulfurzyme, even though I can't say it. I do love it. Um, and some other things that we do as far as I guess you could say supplements would go would be essential oils. Um, we love thieves in this home. I will diffuse it all fall and winter long. It smells yummy like Christmas, and it also kills the germs and helps to boost your immune system. We do the roller blends on our spine and feet. And um, another thing that we carry around all the time is Thieves hand sanitizer. So I actually, this one is just sitting on my desk because I use it that frequently. I have one in my car that I use after I fill my car with gas, um, at the grocery store, in my backpack for the kids. They all, they get Thieves hand sanitizer after they're through with Bible class at church. Um, they get it all the time. So hand sanitizer. Um, and you want to make sure it's a good quality one. Like Thieves, this one from Young Living from Thieves is really great. Another good one, Dr. Bronner's has like a spray lavender one that's really great. Um, and you can get that one on Amazon. So just some options. And let's see, so supplements and oils. And lastly, I mean, basic basics. And I feel like um, we have put so much emphasis on like pharmaceuticals and drugs can take care of anything. All I do when I get sick is I just go to the doctor and get an antibiotic type of mentality that we forget the basic, basic stuff of washing our hands and covering our mouth when we sneeze and nose when we sneeze and um, uh, not sharing drinks with people. Like, oh my goodness, this drives me crazy. I see people share drinks all the time and like people will just hand cups to my kids and I just sit there and cringe like did you really just give that drink to my kid like you drank after it what if you're what if you have the flu germs brewing in your system and then you're gonna pass that to my child um, like y'all basic stuff um, bathe regularly please you don't have to wash your hair all the time because I don't but you know shower and bathe your kids when they get home from school um, wash your sheets that's a big one too uh, because that's just a breeding ground for germs. So just the basic, basic stuff that we have seemed to completely forget about and lose sight of um, because we have so much trust in our medical system being able to heal everything when in actuality, when you get that antibiotic, you're killing all the good stuff in your gut and it's going to take you a good, a good bit of time to actually recover from that antibiotic despite the fact that you might feel good, feel better, um, your insides are not feeling better. So, um, yeah, that was kind of a, um, a sprint of all of the immunity stuff. So if you have any questions about any of it, that's just kind of my big, um, tip. So diet in water, sleep, go outside, exercise, um, high quality supplements and essential oils if necessary, and the basic basics, wash your hands, cover your nose, um, stay home if you're sick those sort of things. So 
that's kind of all of it wrapped up in a pretty package. If you have any questions about any of it, if you want to know how to get your hands on the um, high quality essential oils or these products that I use from Thrive Market, I do have a link that I can send you if you're interested in hearing more about Thrive Market. Um, it's basically like a Costco for health food and um, they have really high standards for what they allow on their site. So most of it is really great stuff. Um, and it's all at a discount. So like that's the Costco part of it. Um, so this, like you can get healthier snacks and stuff for the pr same price as the cheap unhealthy snacks at the grocery store. So that's just kind of how all of our snacks come from there. Um, but I have a link that I can send you for 25% off of your first order with Thrive Market if that's something that you're interested in. Um, but other than that, y'all please please message me with any questions. Like I said before, I'm not a doctor. I am just a nerdy mom. And um, I love helping others with this stuff though. So any questions you have, please send them my way. And I hope that you'll have a very well and healthy fall.